Hello, everybody. How are we doing today? I hope we're doing great. I hope we're doing fine. Um, I bless God for today. I give him all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise because he's worthy of our praise. I'm sorry we're slightly late today again. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, let's pray quickly before we go into today's business. Father, in the name of Jesus, I worship you, God. I bless your holy name. I thank you, our Father. I give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise because you deserve it, Father. Have mercy upon me, O God, in whichever way I have gotten it wrong with you, Father. Let your mercy speak, O God. Have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon your people, Father. Let your mercy find us this hour, oh God. Let your mercy find us. Father, search me through and through, oh God. If you find any iniquity in me, God, let your mercy speak. Let your mercy speak for me, God. In the most precious name of your son, Yeshua. Father, we gather here once again to do your business. Oh Lord, may I not say what you haven't asked me to say, and may I not do what you haven't asked me to do, Father. May everything be done according to your will, O oh God, but not according to the will of man or according to the will of anybody or anything, but according to your will. Holy Spirit, come and take prayer in us. Come take control. I decrease for you to increase. Use me as you please. May the words that are going to be spoken today, O oh God, go forth and accomplish that which you want it to accomplish. Father, let only your will be done. Let only your will be done today in the most precious name of your son. Thank you, Abba Father, for who you are. You are the almighty God, the all-powerful God. You are worthy, Father. You are worthy, O oh God. I worship you, this hour. I come into your gates with praise in my heart. I come into your courts with thanksgiving, O oh God, in my heart. May it be acceptable unto you, Father. May it be acceptable unto you, God. Thank you, Father. In Yeshua's name I pray. Amen. Amen. Hey, everybody, how are we doing today? I hope we're doing good. I hope we're doing great. <laughs> As the week been coming on, I hope it's been coming on really, really great. <laughs> Mine has been good. I bless God. I give him all the glory because he's worthy. So because we're already um, a little bit behind schedule, we're just going to dive into the word today and intercede, okay? So today I'm going to be talking about the power of God. What can God do? That's what we're going to be talking about today, you know? This is the word that the Lord gave to me, and I pray that it will go forth and accomplish that which the Lord wants it to accomplish. So our scriptures today, uh, Ephesians 3.20, Luke 18.27, Jeremiah 32.27, and 2 Chronicles 
I'll read as much as I'll read as many as I can. But because of time, I might not be able to read all of them. But please, when this is done, you can go. Um, when you have time, you know, you can look up the other scriptures. Um, Ephesians 3.20 says, Now unto him that is able to do, exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that work, worketh in us. Unto him be glory in the church by Jesus Christ throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. That's Ephesians 3.20, and that's the King James Version. The LNT says, now all glory to God who is able through his mighty power at work within us to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. Glory to him in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations forever and ever. Amen. And then uh, the other scripture is Luke 18, 27. Oh, my God, he right. And he replied, what is impossible for people is possible with God. That's the LNT. And King James says, and he said, the things which are impossible with men are possible with God. Jeremiah 32, 27. Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything to add for me? Nothing, absolutely nothing. So the other scripture is 2 Corinthians 16, um, 9. Let me just read it since it's the last one. Um, For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong in the behalf of them whose heart is perfect towards him. Yea, in thou art done foolishly. Therefore, from henceforth thou shalt have was. Have was. Okay, so um, we're going to be talking about the power of God and what, what is it that God cannot do? Because I've come to understand that there is nothing God cannot do, you know. A lot of us limit the power of the king. There is nothing he can't do. No matter what it is, God can do it. He's able to do much more than we think. The reason a lot of us don't see the power of God is because we don't want to have a relationship with him. And even when we do have a relationship with him, it's a one-sided relationship. But the Lord is saying to us today, if you build a relationship with him, if you dedicate your time to him, you will see and experience his power in unusual way and places. So the question is, do you want to experience the mighty power of God? That's the question I'm asking us today. Do we want to experience the, the mighty power of God? I want to. Every day I say, God, I want to, I want to, I want to experience something unusual, something supernatural, something that is not heard of. You know, I don't know how many of us have you know, are willing to experience the power of God. You know. But if you dedicate your time to him, you will see and experience his power in unusual way and places. That's for sure. Do you want your mind blown away by what God can do? That's another question I'm asking us. Do we want our mind blown away by what God can do? You know. I 
I want to give us a minute to think about it. Should we want our minds blown away by what God can do? Think about it, you know. If man, who is the creature, just imagine that, can blow our minds away with certain things that he does. Imagine what the creator can do. I just want us to think about it. If man, who is the creator, can blow our minds away by certain things that he does or certain things that he can do, imagine what the creator can do. There is absolutely nothing God cannot do. I've not seen or heard of the thing that God cannot do. Aside from to lie. God cannot lie. You know. If you want to experience the great power of God. Then you need to make your ways right. And begin to pursue him. He's a wonder working God. That's for sure. And I know that we all know that. Is El Shaddai, the almighty God. The God who can do anything he wants to do. Even to re rejuvenate dead wombs and give babies. He wants us to know him as the God who is able to do anything for us. Most of us have had bad experiences with people, you know. People that have promised us certain things, but we're not able to pull through, we're not able to deliver. So because of those bad experiences, we become very skeptical when it comes to God. We find it really hard to trust God. But God is not a man that he should lie. Neither is he a son of man that he should repent. For what he has said he will do, he will do it. And that's a mistake that a lot of us make, including myself. Because of certain pain or certain stuff that man has done to us, you know, certain promises that man has made to us that man wasn't able to deliver, we become, we become skeptical when it comes to trusting. Not just man, but even God. And that's a huge mistake that a lot of us make. That is a mistake that we should never make. You know, it's easy for you to say, I trust God. I say I trust God all the time. Likewise, every other person that I know that has a relationship with God will say, I trust God. But do you really trust God? I realized that I didn't even trust God enough when something happened in my life. And I think I said something, um, I said something about it in one of my videos where I said, I just prayed a very casual prayer. And I said, God, please, I need somebody to buy stuff from off my website. And it was just a very casual prayer. I didn't take it seriously and it happened and, it, and I just forgot about it. The very next day, somebody called me up and paid um, for something that the person bought from me, the remaining part of the money. And I was like, oh, can you pay? Can you? She wanted to do me a cash up. I was like, no, I don't want to cash up. Can you pay through the website? Because you know, when you buy it through the website, of course you have to pay tax. But if you're paying me cash up, you don't pay tax. You know what I mean? So she was like, oh, okay, fine. And she did it. And after she did it, I just, you know, I didn't, I didn't take it as anything. Um, I didn't take it as anything, right? Until the next day, the Lord said, can you be grateful? I was like, God, what are you talking about? Like, I'm, I'm grateful. You know, I'm grateful. He said, you pray that you wanted somebody to buy something off from you and then somebody bought something from you and you couldn't even say, thank you, God. That sales came on that day because of the prayer that you pray. And I was like, wow. I never even thought about it. Like I said, the lady already gave me some money before. So for me, it wasn't a new sales. But that only made me to understand that I didn't trust God enough. That even though I prayed the prayer, I didn't trust him enough to believe that he would do it. So like I said, it's easy for us to say, I trust God. I trust God. I trust God. I've been trusting God for something for a while now. And the Lord has, the Lord has given me specific instructions concerning this particular situation over time. But because I don't trust him enough, I fail every time that I'm given this instruction. 
And that's just to let me know that I still don't trust God enough. But in my heart, I say, God, and the other day when the Holy Spirit was brought into my mind, I said, but God, you know that I trust you. I know that you will do what you have said that you will do. And that's the truth, though. I know he's going to do it. But the problem I had was, I don't know if I, if I will be patient enough for the time that he, God, has chosen to do it. And so for that reason, I don't trust him enough. Because if I trust him enough, I'll be patient. If I trust him enough, no matter how long it takes, I'll be patient. And not just patient, but I'll be, I'll be in good courage. But because I don't trust him enough, that's why sometimes I'm sad, I'm overwhelmed, I'm weary, and all that. So like I said, it's easy for us to say we trust God, but deep down, we might really not trust God as much as we should trust God. And so on this work with God, I am beginning to learn that I don't trust God as much as God would want me to trust him. I don't trust God as much as I think that I trust God. Because of certain things that has happened and the way that I reacted. It only shows that I don't trust God that much, you know, and that's because of, you know, things that are the things that have happened in the past in my life that has made me build certain walls around me, that has made me, you know, react to certain things, certain way. But the God that we serve is a loving and patient God. So every day it makes me to understand how much he loves me. Every day it makes me to understand that I've got you, my child. I would never forsake you nor put you to shame. Every day lets me know that just trust me, my child. Trust me. You know, because he knows that I don't trust him enough. Yes, I love him. Yes, I trust him. Yes, all these things, but it's still not enough. You know? But God is saying that he's able to do whatever that needs to be done in our lives. Anything that needs to be done, God is saying that I am able to do it. No other being is as powerful there is no problem that is all powerful. Only God is all powerful. And I want us to remember that he's on our side. Everything we make in this world requires existing materials. You need something to make something. You know what I mean? But God made the world out of nothing. He merely spoke and it came to pass. He's a God who is able to create anything. He's the creator. That is why he's the creator. And I remember, I think, was it last week when I was talking about um, the, out, the magnificent outcome of the broken pieces when I was saying that the creator, that's what God does. He creates. So he takes whatever thing that he needs or that is left and create something beautiful. Oh my God. Create something marvelous, something wonderful, something magnificent. That's what God does. He's a creator. You know, he's a creator. And whatever he creates is perfect. You know. Most of us have had this experiences and that makes us, you know, no one to trust God. You're not alone if you're one of those people. Like I said, I'm one of them too. You know, God merely spoke and it came to pass. He's a God who is able to create everything out of nothing by words. You know, and that's why Jeremiah 32, 27 says, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is anything too difficult for me? Absolutely nothing. For he's able to do anything. 
God is able to do anything. He's able to save us. He's able to keep us from sin. And that's why I, I tell us every time when I come, I say, when you make your ways right and forsake those things that you don't want to do anymore. And when the time comes, when those things that you don't want to do anymore begin to call you, you know, God is the only one who can give you the strength to resist those things. Provided you don't want it anymore. Provided you're fighting not to go back anymore. God is the only one who will give you the strength. When we learn to hold on to God or hold on to his power, we will conquer those stubborn sins that we think that we cannot. Those sins that come and destroy stuff in our lives. Those sins that keep us away from God. He's able to supply all of our needs. He's able to heal us of all diseases. I don't care what the name of that disease is. Whether it's cancer, whether it's COVID-19, whether it's HIV, whatever you call it, God is able to do it. He's able to cure you. He's able to heal you. He's able to deliver us from death. That is how mighty and powerful our God is. If you really want to know this omnipotent God personally, We need to think through some of the things that God has done and is still doing. He delivered Daniel's three friends, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, from a raging fire. From a blazing fire, rather. Sorry. He delivered Daniel from the lion's den. Mary was able to conceive without intercourse. That is something that is, that is against everything, that's against, um, what's the word? Every law of nature. A woman cannot be pregnant without sleeping with a man. But our God is able to do that. You know? Elizabeth had John when she was way past childbearing age. What about Sarah and Abraham? God made a promise to them. And Sarah laughed because she knew that she was past that stage, that stage of bearing kids. She laughed because she didn't believe God. Because she doesn't know the power of God. But what God has said he would do, he would do. And so, she became pregnant and had a son. He parted a Red Sea for the children of Israel to walk upon dry land when they left Egypt. On their way from Egypt, he was a pillar of cloud by the day and a pillar of fire by the night. to protect and guide them to that place that he was taking them to. Where are we going to start and where are we going to end? He raised Jesus from the dead. Where are we going to start and where are we going to end? That is how mighty and powerful our God is. There is absolutely nothing our God cannot do. For nothing will be impossible with God. It might be impossible with men, but with God it is always possible. Me coming here to say what the Lord says, me coming here to intercede for people, is the power of God. Because like I say, I don't know anything. I don't even know how to pray. Most of the things I come here to say, I don't know 90% of them. But here I am, week after week, I come here and I give the word of the Lord just as it was given to me. That is the power of God. 
There is nothing God cannot do. God can use that thing that you think is useless. God can use that thing that you think is destroyed. God can use that thing that you think is, is done. God can use it and do something else. That is the power of our God. That is how mighty our God is. That is how great our God is. That is how wonderful our God is. Who is like this God? Nobody. What is it you're looking for? Name it. God is saying, there is nothing that is impossible with me. It might be impossible with men, but it's not impossible with me. I don't lie. What I say I'm going to do, I'm going to do it. Trust me. Have faith in me. Believe in me. Keep holding on to me. All the Lord is saying, make your ways right. And trust him. And see him take you from one place to the other. And see him pack seeds for you. And see him do things that you cannot imagine. Things are way above your, your imagination. Our God is all powerful. There is none that is as powerful as our God. A lot of us don't even know the power of this God that we call upon, including myself. Because if we knew how powerful this God is, there are certain things we will not do. We'll be so scared of God that there are certain things we will not even try. If only we know what our God is capable of. But today I'm here to tell you that God is able to do no matter what the situation is. I don't want to know, provided it has a name. Our God is able, is powerful enough to turn it around. If it's addiction, what is it? It can be drug addiction, it can be sexual addiction. God is able to turn it around. He has the power to change. God is the only one who can change anything. God is the only one who can change any situation. God is the only one who can change anybody. You can't change anybody. You don't have the power to, but God has that power. Because he's the creator. So he knows what to say or what to do to bring that thing to the place where he wants it to be. Oh my God. Our God is powerful. And that is what I want to tell us today. I just want to let you know that God is powerful. Trust him. Believe him. is a mighty God. A mighty God. Oh my God. A mighty God that even space cannot contain him. <laughs> As is how mighty he is. Nothing can hold him. That is how powerful he is. Nothing. That is the God that we serve. That is the God that we serve. He's a great God. So if you don't know this God, please, please, Take out time and begin to find this God. You don't have to be perfect. Because he that we're talking about is perfect. <laughs> He's a perfect God. So my people, today I just want to encourage us. I just want us to know how powerful this God is. There is nothing he can't do. Tell me that thing that God cannot do in your life. 
Tell me that situation that God cannot turn around in a split second. Tell me that thing that you're looking for that God cannot give to you. God is the only one who can give it to you because he has all the power. He has all the power. He has all the power. I've not seen that thing that God cannot do. I've not seen that thing that you're looking for, that problem that you had, that situation that is, that is driving you crazy. I've not seen that thing that God cannot turn around. He has all the power. I can't stop saying it. Because I want us to understand that we serve a powerful God. We serve a very, very powerful God. There is none as powerful as our God. There is none as powerful as our God. Our God is the most powerful. Hey! There is none as powerful as our God. Okay? So trust him. Have faith in it. Believe in it. No matter what it is. I don't want to know what it is. But whatever it is, wherever you are, tell him, Father, I know that you have the power to change. You have the power to kill and make a life. You have the power to do anything that I want you to do. And no matter how we sing, I know you have the power to change it. Okay? Trust God. Trust Him. Trust Him. It will always, always pull true for you. Okay, people? That being said, we still have to do what he has called us to, which is to intercede for his people. So let's pray. Let's pray in the Holy Spirit. Because like I tell us every time, when you pray in the Holy Spirit, you pray the divine will of God. So wherever you are, join us. And let's do that which God has called us to do. Okay? Father, we bless you, O oh God. We give you praise for who you are, Jehovah. We magnify your holy name because you are our Father. Because you are the King of glory. Because you are the almighty God. Because there is no God besides the God. Because you are many potent God. Because you are many shame, my father. You are many present. You are the beginning, you are the end. You are the lion of the tribe of Judah. You are the one who speaks and it comes to pass speedily. Mm. You are the Alpha, you are the Omega. There is nothing that is above you, Father. You are a beautiful King, a faithful God, an awesome God. You are God all by yourself. With a thousand tongues that cannot worship you enough. With a thousand tongues that cannot praise you enough. You are a beautiful God. You are beautiful in all situations. You are so beautiful that no one can behold you, Father. You are a loving God, a loving Father, a loving King. God, I'm in awe of you. I worship you, Father. 
for who you are, oh God. You are our source, our everything, our way maker, our miracle work, our strong tower, our protector. Oh my God, my provider. You are much more than I can ever imagine or think. You were higher than the highest. You were bigger than the biggest. You were stronger than the strongest. Who is like unto thee, oh my God? Who is like unto thee, oh my God? Glorious in holiness. Fearful in praises. Doing wonders. Hallelujah, God. You are a wonder-working father. Father, I will bow before your throne of grace this house. To say, hallowed be your name, oh God. To worship you in truth and in spirit. To say, blessed be your name, oh God. We come into your gates with praise and thanksgiving in our heart. We have come to you just the way that we are. The hour has come, King of Glory. For you to use us to stop the enemy. For you to use us to go into the camp of the enemy and deliver that which you want to be delivered. Father, the hour has come, oh God. And we trust you and we have faith in you and we believe in you because we know that you would never send us out where you will not protect us. Gentle, sweet spirit, the time has come. Intercede for us. Advocate for us. Take us into battle and bring us, up, bring us back safely. In the most precious name of Yeshua. Holy Spirit, come and take control. Use me as you please. For I give myself away. Use me whichever way you want. For I am ready. Mm. Oh, Father, I just want to praise you this hour. Masala hima suhi masuhi lehi mahamo suhi lehi masuhi lehi masuhi lehi ama masege zima hamasala hima suhi la lehi kasuma ie ma okasi lehi musuhi kasu lehi masahi lahi muhi e ma suha e kasu lehi mahamo su lahi asuhi ama ie kasu lehi ma musu lehi mahamo suhi lahi amasehi. Mahie kasule hia masuha a ama se hila hia ma. Mo ie kasele hi masu ie le hia ma. Mo suha le hi masu hila. Ma ie kasile hia masu hi ma ha masu hie le hi. Mo ie kasile hia ma. Mo suha le hia masu hila hia ma. Mo su hie le i e kasule hia ma. Mo se hila hi masu hila hi masu. Ma se i e kasile hi ma ha masu hale. Mo ie e kasule hi masu ha a masu hie la hia ma. Masile masu amase ia kasuma masu ale ia masu ie masu you are a mighty God. You are so mighty, Father. You are a mighty God. May yes, wa masahi masu hia ma amasu a ema mo ie se hia masu ima ie se ima. Ma Iesu he amosu amose ia kasule hia ma amosu hia. Father, we give you praise, O God. 
because you are worthy of our praise, King of glory. Who is like unto thee, O God? Who is like unto our God? Father, there is none like you, Jehovah. And there would never be any like you, King of glory. You are a great and mighty God. There is nothing that is impossible with you, God. There is nothing that you cannot do, oh my Father. There is nothing that is above you, oh my King. Father, the word says that those that run to you are safe and sound because you are able to keep us, oh God. You are able to keep us, oh God, in these times. Our trust is upon you, O Jehovah. Yes, you are God that is slow to anger. Yes, you are a patient God. Mohikasele <laughs> 
Father, all pure glory and praise belongs to you, God. He belongs to you, Father. None will share your glory, King of glory. None will share your glory. None will share your glory. It all belongs to you. Yes, Father. It all belongs to you. 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 Father, it all belongs to you. Jesus. It all belongs to you. It all belongs to you. It all belongs to you. Father, it all belongs to you. Father, we give you praise, God. It all belongs to you. It all belongs to you. It all belongs to you. Lord, it all belongs to you. Masueka suma hama suhila hie masu. Mahieka sele hi masuhale hi masse hila hie masuhi. Mahila hie masuhi mahieka sule hie masuhale hie masuhile hi ma. Mohieka sule hila hie masuhama sa hie la hie ma. Mohieka sule hi masuhile ke se mahama suhile hie masu. Masuhia ke sele hi mahama suha. Mahieka sele hi masuhile ke se maha. Masule hie masuhila hi masuhile ke su maha. Masule hie ale hie masuhie wa e big God. A mighty God. A gigantic God. You are God, you are God, you are God all by yourself. Mahi sule ka zuma hama se hile hi ama. Mohi e ka sule hi ama hi ama suhi e ka sule hi ama. Masule hi e ka sele hi ma suhale hi e ka sule hi ma. Mahi la hi e ka sule hi ma se hi ma hama suha ka sele hi. Masule hi ama se ke zi ma hama suhale hi e ka sele hi. Mosele hi ma se hi ma ha ma su hi e ka sa la hi ama. Masele hi ma su hi e ka se le hi ama. Mosole hi ka se ma ha ma su hi e le hi e ka su le. Mo hi e ka su le hi ma se hi la hi ama. Mo su la hi ama se hi e ka su le hi ma. Mo su ha e ma hi e le ka se ma ha ma su ha e la hi ama. Mo ka se ma ha. Masule hi ka se le hi ma su ha la hi e ma. Ma hi e ma su hi e le ka se ma ha ma su ha ma hi e ka su le hi ma. Masule hi a le ka se ma ha ma su hi e ka se le hi e ma. 
Father, we give you praise because you are word. We'll honor you, King of glory, because you are word. We'll bless your name, oh God, because you are word. You are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy, Father. Have your way, oh God. Have your way, King of glory. Have your way, mighty God. Have your way, Jehovah. Have your way, Father. Have your way. Lord, have your way. Have your way in the lives of your people. Have your way in this nation, oh God. Have your way in the nations of the world. Father, have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Mahia suma se hie ka suma. Mahia ma se hie ka sule hia ma se hie ne hima. Mo hie ka se le hima su hima ha ka se le. Ma su hama hie ka sule hia ma su hima su hie le hima. Mo su hie le ka se ma ha ma su ha. Ma se ka zi ha ma se hie le hi. Mo hie ka sule hia ma hia ka sule. Ma hua ka sule hi ma se hie la hia ma. Mo su hie ka se le hi ma su hia ma hua ka se. Ma se le ka sule hi ma su ha le hi. Mo ka zi la hi ma se hie le hie ka sule hi ma. Ma se le ka su ma ha ma se hie le hia ka su ha ma. Mo su la hi. Mo su la hi ma su la hi ma su hi ka se le hi ma. Mo su la hi ma se hi ka su le hi ma ha. Mo mo su hi ka se le hi ma su hi. Oh yes, Father. Father, we thank you. Lord, we thank you, God. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace. It all belongs to you. It all belongs to you. Father, it all belongs to you. Lord, it all belongs to you. It all belongs to you. It all belongs to you. Oh, yes, God. It all belongs to you. Father, it all belongs to you. It all belongs to you. It all belongs to you. Father, it all belongs to you. Lord, it all belongs to you. It all belongs to you. It all belongs to you. Lord, it all belongs to you. Father, it all belongs to you. Ye masu akesu e mangu sehile. Se hile hi ma su hie le ke su ma ha ma su hie le ke su ma ha. Mo hie su hile hi ma su hie le hi a ma su ha le hi ke su le. Mo hie su le ke su ma hi ma se hi la hi ma su hi. Mo hie le ke su ma ha ma su la hi a ma se hie le ke su ma ha. Mo se ke zi la hi ma su hie le ke su a ma hie ke su le hi a ma. Mo hie le ke se le ke su la hi a ma su hie ke su le hi a ma. Ma su le hi a ke se le hi a ma se hi la hi. Mo hie ke su le hi a ma ha ma su hie la hi a ma su hi le. Mo hie ke su le hi ma ha ma su hie le hi ke su le hi. Oh Jesus. It all belongs to you. It 
It all belongs to you. Father, it all belongs to you. Yes, Lord, it all belongs to you. God, I will bless your name. Jehovah will give you praise. We thank you for what you have done. What you are still doing. And what you are about to do. Everything belongs to you, God. Everything belongs to you, Father. It all belongs to you, Jehovah. It all belongs to you. None will share your glory. None will take your glory. Because it all belongs to you. 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 Father, it all belongs to you. My Jesus, we hear my oh Jesus. My Jesus, we hear my say here, my so here, here. My ear echoes, oh my God. It all belongs to you. It all belongs to you. It all belongs to you. Father, it all belongs to you. 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 Lord, it all belongs to you. It all belongs to you. It all belongs to you. Belongs to you. Father, it all belongs to you. Thank you, Father. <clears throat> Thank you, God. Thank you for answered prayers. Thank you for what you have done, God. Because it's only you that can do it, Father. Thank you, Father. That's most powerful name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. He has done what no one can do. And he alone will take the glory. Make your ways right, people of God. Repent. Repent from your sinful ways. 
Repent and begin to chase after God. Make your ways right. Make your ways right. Just so you don't regret it soon. Don't so, don't so you don't say, God, give me another chance when there is no other chance. Make your ways right now that you have the time. For God is calling you. God is calling you. My child, come home. My child, make your way right. My child, please come home. God is calling you. Wherever you are in the north, in the east, in the south, and in the west, as you hear my voice, I pray that you hear the voice of the Lord. The Lord is calling you. Come home. For he has great plan for you. Make your ways right. Forsake those things. Let it go, Jesus. Let it go. Let it go. For God is able to give you much more. God is able to do much more. Okay, people. Our God is just. Our God is faithful. Our God is powerful. If only we can see what God has saved us from day after day. If only we can see what God is doing behind the scenes. If only we can see. Then we will understand how important it is to worship this God. How important it is to praise this God. How important it is to thank this God. How important it is to follow this God. I pray you hear the voice of the Lord and not mine. And make your ways right. I love you dearly. Because I want to see your soul say, but I can never love you like God can love you. He values your soul even more than I do. Why don't you go to him and say, Father, here I am. Here I am. Just the way that I am. And see what God is going to do with you. Okay, people, I don't know, for some reason, I just became so tired. Our God is mighty. Our God is great. I love you. I hope to see us on Sunday at 6 p.m. Enjoy the rest of your week and know that this God is powerful. He's able to do abundant, exceedingly, abundantly, above anything that you can ever imagine, think. Always remember that. So no matter what the issue is, just remember that God is able to do much more than you can think or imagine. No matter what it is. Okay? All right, people. Bye.